Before you can install, you must first prep your subfloor. This sets the foundation for a good installation and provides a solid base for lasting durability to your flooring project. If you are removing existing wood flooring, wear proper safety gear and gather the necessary equipment before beginning. Once your old flooring has been removed, check to see if your subfloor is level. You will then need to patch and repair the subfloor, removing any imperfections or bumps and filling in any cracks or holes in the foundation. This includes scraping adhesive residue and old cement or mortar compounds. Hammer down nails, embed all screws and remove all carpet tacks. Make sure to patch any holes left behind. You will also need to replace or repair any damaged or rotted wood. When preparing cement subfloor, make sure it's structurally sound, stable, solid, and dry. Your cement surface must be clean and free from debris, including cement sealers. If water beads up on the cement, there is a sealer on it, which will need to be professionally removed to ensure a good bond. Check for dips within 10-foot spans using a 4-6-foot to six foot level and use a self-leveling underlayment where needed. Properly acclimating your new wood flooring reduces the likelihood of problems both during and after installation. To ready your room, five days before your wood flooring arrives, set the temperature between 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and use a relative humidity RH meter to ensure the level is between 30 to 50%. This will ensure quick and proper acclimation of your flooring. Leaving interior doors open, stack the boxes of flooring in a crisscross pattern for maximum exposure to air, away from walls, AC vents, and intakes. Be sure and mix boxes from multiple pallets into each room where you are stacking the flooring. This will help to ensure a good color blend once the installation begins. Maintaining the proper moisture level in your home is an important step to protecting your wood floors and preventing mold and mildew growth. Make sure there is no moisture coming through your subfloor into the crawl space, basement, or through air conditioning ductwork. For testing wood subflooring, Floor & Decor recommends using a pin test moisture meter, which can detect moisture below the surface of the subfloor. Be sure to use your moisture meter in several spots throughout the room. Although a moisture content of less than 13% is ideal, you should consult the flooring's manufacturer's instructions for recommended levels. With a concrete slab subfloor, there are two accurate ways to measure moisture content, calcium chloride testing and in situ probe testing. If an issue is detected, you must first identify the source of the excess moisture. Often it can be lowered by adjusting the air conditioning temperature or through the use of a dehumidifier. To protect your wood floors from prolonged exposure to moisture, remedy any crawl space and basement issues you may have, such as drainage, water collection, or pass-through in exterior walls. You can also install an underlayment or PE film, use moisture-suppressing adhesives, or moisture abatement membranes. By maintaining the proper moisture levels, you can avoid costly future repairs and long-term health risks. For a variety of floor installation and maintenance materials, visit your local Floor & Decor and at floorandecor.com.